Only a few days after Tuesday's tragedy, several school districts are hosting graduation ceremonies tonight. And we've seen a larger police presence at some of them, but parents tell us they're concerned about police staffing in the fall. And today, KXAN, rather, Austin ISD gave us more information about the police cuts it's making to balance the budget. Our Blake Devine spoke with parents who say officers should be a priority. As schools bid farewell to the class of 2022, those that walk across the stage offer a stark reminder for some of the 19 children who lost their lives in Uvalde. Those parents won't be able to see their children graduate, and so it's, it's a very somber moment. Today, two Austin ISD graduation ceremonies had a noteworthy police presence. It was actually very comforting to see the law enforcement um, all around the auditorium, on the outside and the inside. However, due to budget cuts, the school district says it's cutting back on its police positions as 15 vacant staff spots will no longer be filled. Julia Favors is quite concerned about a lack of security coverage on campus. They need policemen in their school no matter what goes on in this school district. Over in Southeast Austin, Stephanie Suarez is the mother of three kids who attend an Austin ISD elementary. I honestly don't know how it reacts. And she has several safety concerns about the aging campus, which was constructed in the 1970s. It almost makes me not want to send my kids to school, you know, figure out another resource, another uh, alternative method of educating my kids. Although AISD has dedicated school resource officers at every high school and middle school, elementary schools do not. We think we can do. This has Suarez begging for change. Not just an email saying things are going to happen. I want things to actually happen to protect our kids. Like Divine KXAN News. We reached out to the Austin ISD about the concerns at a local elementary school and are waiting to hear back. And as far as cuts to the police, the district says it will now have 76 sworn officers. They say night patrol officers will be assigned to campuses or daytime patrols. The priority will be on the coverage during the school hours. And they tell us they'll do whatever it takes to keep students safe. Austin ISD cut a total of 632 positions to close its $87 million budget deficit. 250 positions came from the central office. Now, earlier this year, district officials pointed out that 85% of the budget goes to payroll, and they say that's why they had to cut employee positions to balance the budget. We've reached out to other school districts to see if they're making any cuts to their police departments. Round Rock ISD got back to us and said it's current proposed budget does not cut safety, security, or the police department.